Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 44. Service drop conductors and service entrance conductors shall be arranged so that blank will not enter the service raceway or equipment. A. Dust. B. Vapor. C. Water. Or D. None of these. Now this answer, D. None of these, makes the, a double negative. None of these will not enter. So, and you would think, well, I don't want any of them to enter. This is, if you were going to make a, a quick guess and move on, this would be one you would take the bait and get the wrong answer. So let's find the exact right answer here. Our keywords to me are either service drop conductors or service entrance conductors. So let's go to the index and take a look. In the index, if we go to service drops, it only goes from here down to here. The only thing that looks interesting is connections to service head because that could be the possible place where something like dirt, uh, dust, vapor, and water could get in f from the service head area. So that's somewhat interesting, but let's look for service entrance conductors. And when you're doing this uh, and you have the book in front of you, you can look very quickly. So it's only going to take you an extra couple of seconds to do that. Okay, now service entrance conductors happen to be on the very next column. And here it is at the top. And see service entrance equipment? So it's all right in this little section right here. We're trying to look for something. Here we are. It says drip loops. Now, if you know how service entrances are put together, you know that you're required to have a drip loop, and that's to keep water out. And water is one of our answers. Now, if we look also, service head 230.54, and that was also mentioned when we uh, looked at service drop conductors. So we got 230.54, 230.52. So we know those are going to be close together. So let's go at 230.52 because drip loops is kind of leaning towards water, which is one of our choices. Here we are at 230.52, and we were looking for drip loops, but that's not in the title. Well, if you read through it, the last sentence says drip loops shall be formed on the conductors before they enter the tubes. And it ends right there. So again, this is a part where I don't like how it was referenced. Now, we had 230.54, it says overhead service locations. So if we go down here, and talked about the service head, and, and it says it's going to comply with these things. Now we're at the bottom of the page, so let's go to the next page and continue our search. And we're going to look for these, these bold headings, and we're going to be looking quickly. So here we are as we continue, and we're reading our bold headings. And it, we're not really finding anything yet. Okay, here we are, drip loops. Now, we wanted to find that up in the other section at uh, 23052, I believe. And it says, it shall be formed on the conductors to prevent the entrance of moisture, okay, which is water, but if we read down the next one, arrange that water will not enter service raceway. Here it very boldly says, and now we get almost word for word, service drop conductors and service entrance conductors shall be arranged so that water will not enter the service raceway or equipment. And water was choice C on our exam. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.